guys welcome back to my channel and happy new year yes 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 this is my first video in the new year and i'm super excited to get started for all my newcomers thank you so much for stopping by i'm so happy that you came and you gave me some of your time definitely hit that subscribe button so you can stay in tune and you can check out any of my previous videos and also catch some of my new videos that will be coming soon and for everyone else just again thank you for your support now let's get into this video so this video is going to be my updated wash and go routine we're gonna do a quick little lens check just so you guys can see what i'm working with right now i know my hair looks crazy right now but we're definitely going to style it towards the end of this video i did my usual wash day routine and then i put leave-in conditioner and because it was so late when i did um like i detangled it and everything i don't know why i waited so long but because it was so late i just literally put the leave-in conditioner and let it air dry overnight so um typically i my well how i've been managing my hair is just simply wrapping washing goes which i absolutely hate because i am dying to like do twist out perm rods flexi rods any other style other than washing goes and it's not that i can't do other styles it's just the length that i have right now i would prefer it be longer to do other styles because y'all know me i love my versatility so this is my hair so far um i have not been to my stylist in who knows how long but right now it's just you know can't afford to get no treatments right now so I'm just doing my at home uh, trim so the last time I trimmed was in November and I'm probably gonna trim again sometime at the end of January or early February I have also been taking my main choice pills yet again I make sure to deep condition every time I have a wash day so as far as styling is concerned I am going to use four products so leave-in is on already so the next product that I'm going to use is soap boxes lightweight coconut oil and I actually have been just recently doing this but I like to just spray this like on my scalp and then kind of massage it in the next product is my go-to which I'm so happy I'm able to go back to this product because before when I had shorter hair it just didn't make sense for me to use it um, but that product is Tropic Isles uh, Jamaican black casserole oil and this is the aloe vera one for the cream I'm using a combination of two products so the first one is going to be a cream the second one is more of a gel based product for the cream I am using Palmer's cocoa butter and biotin length retention cream styler so that's this product right here and I am then going to pair it with curls blueberry bliss curl control jelly Alright, so you can see that I went ahead and I sectioned my hair, as I mentioned, in three sections. So you have one section here. I know it's kind of hard to tell because my hair in the back is all over the place. But one section here, one section here, and then all of this in the back. I start from the bottom and work my way up. And I start in small sections like these. First step, as I mentioned, is to go ahead and grab your oil and apply that directly to that section now my next step is to go ahead with the cream styler and then with the gel like I said grabbing my Palmer's uh, cream styler and this is literally the amount that I'm using I'm not using no more than that Whoa, get a generous amount so if you can see about that much Now what I'm going to do is grab my diamond brush and I'm going to detangle it and then after I detangle it then I'm going to flip it upward. Alrighty so off camera I did the entire back I'm going to show you guys in a minute.
So now to do our edges, I'm using my uh, Style Factor Edge Booster and this is in the scent Pineapple. Okay guys, final step is to go ahead and create volume. As you can see, I went off camera and I just reapplied a little bit of the um, gel that I was using and then I went ahead and used my brush in that motion to kind of get the curls to form back again. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this and try this routine out for yourself. If you are looking for some sort of, uh, you know, consistent routine for styling your wash and go, all info for the products that I use will be in the description area, so definitely check that out. Other than that, I can't wait to see you guys next time in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. I love you guys. Bye.